What is going on guys? I am Consumer Tech Review and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Govi Lyric Floor Lamp. This thing is RGBIC, looks pretty awesome. And as usual, if at any point during the video if you want to check out this exact same floor lamp, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. I do got you guys, but let's get right into it. This is the setup. We've got a lot of cool stuff going on. It's pretty basic at this point, but the edges just don't look that nice and they definitely need something to spice them up. And that's where we're not just gonna do one of these, we got another one down here. We're gonna do two of them. So let's get one of these open. We're gonna do the full installation and review process. On the back, we got a little pull tab that says open. I am super excited about these because they look awesome. All right, opening this up in the top, we got some Govi paperwork, quick start guide, user manual. Then we have what looks like the RGB IC element right there. And then in this, we have the actual top of it. That's actually super interesting. So this entire strip actually looks like it just fits into these things out there. That's a really cool design and very well packaged. All right, then one of the main compartments right here, we have the power brick, which is actually not too big, typical for an RGBIC. We have a very, very nice Govi remote. Never seen a remote like that before. Although this obviously can be controlled with Amazon Echo or Google Assistant or whatever smart assistant you have. And then in here, you have a screwdriver, a couple little screws, a couple more little screws, and it looks like an attachment piece. That is everything in that box. So it looks like some assembly required, but it looks pretty basic. And then all the way down in the box, we have the base, which is very, very pretty. Look at that thing. We got Govi right here. This is all smooth, very, very nice. Pretty dang heavy. Nice metal base right there, all rubber on the bottom. Let's get this thing put together. All right, starting the assembly process, this is the top pole, as you can see, because it has that on the top. So that one goes on the top, and then these go on the bottom. Now this is the bottom piece because you see it has this connection instead of the typical one, which is this connection, this piece. So what we're gonna do is that is the bottom, this is the middle piece, and then this is the top because of this top right here. The way you connect these is use these to actually screw them in, and we're gonna do that right now. So we're actually gonna slide this one into this, and then line them up so that you can see the holes that match up. After that, let's get open our screws, and then simply just screw them in. Now that that's all done, we got this part in, this part in, and all three sections are connected. We're gonna take the bottom piece here and the place with two little pushed out parts, that's actually gonna go down and is gonna go just like that. We're then gonna use these small screws, slide this into the bottom, align it with the two screws, and then screw that in. Now that that's done, we're gonna take the base, and as you can see on the back, there's two little screw holes right there, and we're gonna align these to here, but we're not gonna use the small screws, but we're gonna use the bigger ones that they provide. Moving the cable out of the way, we're gonna slide the entire thing put together. Slides in there right like that. We're then gonna take our longer screws and we're gonna screw this into the base. All right, now that this is all connected, yours should look something like that. If it doesn't, that's a problem. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the RGB IC strip right here and we're gonna come right here and we're gonna align the pins and we're just gonna align these two together. You can see it has red, green, black, white. This one, red, green, black, white, and so on and so on. And then all you're gonna do is just plug in the cable, just like that. Now that that's all plugged in, we're just gonna push these cables down into the base. And then you're just gonna press this inside once it's at the bottom, just like that. And all you're gonna do is basically just go up the entire lamp, just pressing this in. It's all soft, it's like rubber, and you basically just press in the side. It's easier if you get one side in, and then you just press in one of the sides. You're just gonna go up the entire lamp, doing this, and overall the installation process probably takes five minutes, if that. Then once you get to the top, you're just gonna put that in the top and clip it all in, do a once over on the whole thing, make sure it's all in, and there you go. You got a lamp in a small little box like that, really cool. Now that that's done, all you gotta do is just take this thing and plug it in. All right, now plugging in the power cord. I am super excited to see how these things look. I have been waiting for quite a while to do a video on them. Oh, and there we go. Now again, remember, two lights right there, one right there, one right there. So there's a lot of light in this room right now. They are glowing super brightly. Look at that, wow. Now obviously these are not meant to be shined out at you, so we're gonna put these against the wall, probably at about 10 feet from the wall, and right now, that's super bright. Let's try this remote. So this is the remote. It actually is really nice, and it has nice like rubber here. So let's see how this thing works, and it turns off very nicely. Wow, I am impressed. That's dimmer down and dimmer up. That's cooler 
and warmer. So it's actually got the white light as well as the actual RGB, which is really, really cool. That's something that you don't see on many RGB products. So if you just wanted to use it like a normal light like that, you can absolutely do that. Now let's turn off the light, except for the one on the camera to see how this thing truly looks. All right, we still have the light on the camera on, but that's the red. It looks so good, especially if we turn it like that, it just glows everything. Let's change the color. There's like a yellow, there's a green, there's an even darker green, blue, teal, purple, and then back to red. And then let's turn this thing actually to a white again and super bright. Like a normal light, this thing is super bright. That's what I absolutely love about these RGB ICs with the white lights. That's so cool. But yeah, that's not it guys. We're actually gonna do another one, which is gonna be done in three, two, one. And guys, now we have both of them set up looking awesome. Now, one thing to note, if you do get two of them, which I know a lot of you probably will, kind of put them on either side, kind of like this, the one remote that you get, obviously you'll get two, but one of them will work for both. So as you can see, that changed it for both of them, which is pretty cool. So you don't actually need two remotes, you just need one. Now continue talking about the features. It comes with this piece right here, which at first glance, it kind of looks like a cover, but it's also flat on the back. Well, it's for actually the remote. So this remote clips right on there, which is pretty cool. So you can put this at any point from here down to there. You can just clip it there, you can clip it there, you can clip it there, wherever you want. So over here, we have it close to the base right here. So it keeps your remote out of the way. It keeps it nice and minimalistic. Now, obviously this is not cable managed. This will be cable managed at some point, but these things look super clean, especially when they're all gonna be cable managed. It's gonna look awesome. All right, now beyond just the white and the RGB colors, this has an app, which means it's got modes, it's got custom brightness. You can do basically anything and let me show it to you. All right, so this is the app when you're on it. You can actually see, you can actually change. We're gonna change that half to red. So now the top over there is gonna be red. Then we're gonna change the middle to a teal. And then we're gonna change the bottom to a blue. And then as you can see, that is what that looks like. Now, if we wanted to change just one of them, the one right there to maybe an orange, now we got some orange going on. Maybe we wanna take out a teal, add just orange, add in a pop of yellow. Look at that, you can change it along this whole strip. And it's so easy to do just in the app. Now, besides all of that, let's say you don't like these colors right here. You can actually have the color wheel and decide what color you want it to put out, which is actually awesome. All right, now beyond just that, let's go through the app as well, because it got more stuff than that. So you have a music mode, which basically when anything makes noise, like when I talk or I clap, it's gonna react to that, any basically noise level. Now, beyond that, you can do rhythm and bounce and all those different modes, but you can go to scene. That's the really cool time. So you got sunrise right here, which as you can see, is just pushing up these colors. So the colors are actually slowly coming up. You can see the red right here, slowly rising up. This is vibey stuff. This is stuff that's not as much in your face, but is really nice to just have in the room, which I absolutely love. You got sunset, which I really like this one. I love that vibey color. You have ocean, which I really liked on the Govee Glides. I love it on this one. So it goes between a light teal right here, then it's going more into a blue, which is so vibey, especially for a lot of your setups. You got forest, which again, is something more of a green type. You have sunset glow, which I love this one. This has gotta be one of my favorite ones, going from the red to the orange. This again was on the Govee Glide. You have ripple, which is a one that I've never seen before, but oh wow, did they do a good job. Look at the gradient and how even all of that is. You then have the rainbow, which is absolutely awesome. Look at that. Just going through it, super gamery, sitting down, playing some Halo, playing some Warzone, having that going, super cool. You got Meteor, which is actually really cool, and I actually like it on this for some kind of themes. And then you have Aura, which is actually really cool. Every single one of these modes is awesome, which you don't actually see on a lot of RGB devices. A lot of them are actually just not integrated well, but on this one it is. But beyond all of these, you actually have a life one. So like a movie one, which again, is just kind of that blue one. Very subtle effects, very subtle presets, which is really nice to have. Now you can go through a bunch. You got romantic, which is that pink and kind of red vibe, which is really, again, 
It's just, it looks so good. The gradients are perfect. And you have a DIY mode where you can set everything yourself. You have the brightness. You can have these come on at certain times if you wanna be woken up by them. You can save your own colors, whatever you want. There is so much to do in the app. All right guys, and here it is sunk with the sunset glow, as you can see, just rising up, looking absolutely awesome awesome but guys for what these are i think they are definitely a premium product they are super cool and at 150 bucks no they are not budget but they're not really meant to be and if phillips created something like this i think you know it wouldn't be 150 bucks again if you do want to go check out these lamps there's amazon links below for the us uk and canada this is an absolutely awesome thing to upgrade your setup now here obviously it's going to cost 300 bucks just for the lighting but as you guys know lighting is so freaking important and oh my God, these look so cool. But yeah, check them out below. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, help me out and throw a like below. And let's talk about it, guys. This is the new studio start of it uh, for all of the people watching, my fans watching, fans, all the people that just like consumer tech review. This is the new place. We're in the new house. We're gonna do a house tour soon, but I wanted to do it way more high quality than the last version. I'm trying to do less videos, but higher quality videos. But I thought I would bang this video out because look at them look so cool and we did the govi glides and i really like doing that video and it seems like you guys liked it as well so i thought hey let's do the same thing again in the new setup this is not the gaming setup we're still doing a huge desk setup this is just the kind of like vibey man cavey part of the setup which oh yeah it's gonna be so cool we gotta get a couch still we got these lights here i think we're gonna put plants i don't know if that's gonna work we're gonna try to figure that out but Man, this thing's looking epic. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, again, throw a like below. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I'm Consumer Tech Review. We do tech setups here. We do lights. We do keyboard reviews, peripheral reviews, top five, top 10 techs. We do a bunch of that. That's what we do here. So please consider subscribing below. But this was Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys in the next many videos to come.